Welcome to my lecture online. Now here we have a very interesting and practical example. Let's say that we're in a factory and the factory produces thousands of parts every day. But one of the machines went faulty and now it causes one third of all the parts that are produced to be defective. So an inspector wants to check and obviously you're not going to check every single part. You just want to check a sample and let's say the sample chosen is 25. Now, what is the probability that out of those 25, there'll be more than three defective parts found? So one way to look at it would be, sometimes you may decide how big should my sample be so that I have a reasonable chance of figuring out that something is wrong. Because let's say you check 25 parts and one is defective. What does that really mean? But if three are defective out of 25, that means there's probably something wrong. So what is the probability that more than three will be defective if one third of all the parts produced are defective because of this faulty machine. So what we're going to assume is that we have a normal distribution. So here's our normal distribution. And what we need to do is we need to find the mean. The mean meaning the number of defective parts out of 25. And then we want to find how many parts or what the probability is that more than three will be defective. So let's say that this is one, two, three defective. This is four defective. So the halfway point between three and four, since we're talking about integer numbers here, let's pick 3.5 as being the dividing line between three and four defective. So what's the probability that more than three will be defective when we check 25 parts? All right, so first of all, we need to find the mean. And the mean can be found by taking the number of samples times the probability of success. So in this case, the number of samples will be 25, and the probability of success, well, it's kind of weird because we're looking for, for uh, defective parts, but that would be the success, the success of picking a defective part. And since one third of all parts are defective, that would be one third, which is 25 over three, which is 8.333 for the mean. So that's the average number of defective parts I would expect to find when a sample of 25 are chosen. Now we need to find the standard deviation. Now the standard deviation can be found to be the square root of n times p times q. So n again, that would be the number of parts chosen. The probability of success would be one third, one third would be defective, and the probability of picking a Defective part is then two-thirds of the probability of failure. All right, for that I'm going to need a calculator. So we have a 50 over 9. Take the square root. We get 2.357. So sigma equals 2.357. All right. So now what we need to figure out is how many sigmas is that from there to there? So this is now we know to be 8.333 and so we could say that z which is the number of sigmas essentially is equal to x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation so x is the point chosen in this case will be 3.5 so what we're going to do is obviously we know that the region to the right of the mean is represents 50 percent this represents 50%, so what we're trying to do is find this minus that. So this is the region that we're trying to find. We already know that that region is 50%. All right, so we pick 3.5 minus the mean, which is 8.333, divided by sigma, which is 2.357. And so we get 3.5 minus 8.333 divided by 2.357, and we get negative 2.05. Now, of course, that's the number of sigmas to the left of the mean, 2.05 sigmas. Now we need to find on the table the equivalence in the percentage. So let's see here, we have two, one, two, three, four, five. So the number that I find is on the table, I find the number zero point, one, two, three, four, five, four, seven, nine, eight, two, four, seven, nine, eight, two, or essentially that's 47.982% 
that's what we find in the table, which is the region right here. That's 47.982%. Essentially, we're talking about 48% on this side, 50% on that side. So therefore, we can say that the probability of finding X being greater than 3, the probability that the number defective is greater than 3, is going to be equal to 50 plus 48, or 98%. So that means that the inspector has 98% probability that he picks 25 parts that more than three of them will be defective. And if more than three out of 25 are defective, there's definitely something wrong with your manufacturing process. You need to go fix it. And that is how it's done. Mm -mm.